Hello y'all, my name is Sebastian. I just want to thank uh, the Giving the Glam for this great opportunity that we have to have our dress for free now that we are graduating and going to prom. This is District B3 along with Maristella for Giving the Glam. 2019, 2020, getting ready for the boys to put on their great items and uh, you know get prepared for prom. This is a great event as always. We've been doing this now approximately six years and we love every minute of it, helping out the community, helping out the kids. Giving the glam with our buddy here, partner, Maristella Rappo, who does an excellent job and it's wonderful to see the kids, like their faces light up when they get in and get these new gowns, these new tuxedos and just the excitement that they have. They never really thought, like, this is me. They look at the camera and you just see the total change in the attitude. I think it's wonderful that Giving the Glam can bring that to them. First, I want to thank you, Mary Stella, and thank you to Give the Gun, Boston Police, for helping us to give this a great opportunity. I didn't know how to wear a suit, so it's my first time. The device they gave me, helping me with autoestima and, and I'm great, I'm really good and I like my dress and I want to thank you again. Thanks so much to give that glance. to the entire team of uh, Giving the Glam for giving us this opportunity, you know, being part of uh, this amazing uh, thing that they have, this opportunity of uh, choosing a tuxedo and, you know, I just want to thank for that. I'll just throw in that we thank Leo of Classic Tuxedo down here on Newberry Street. 253. 253 Newberry Street for <laughs> welcoming us in this year, uh, it's giving us a new place. I would like to thank you Giving the Glam for making all this possible and give us the privilege and to give us this relief of affording this for us and to help us close this final chapter in high school with this cherry on the top. I, don't, I have no words to describe this but I know it's going to be perfect. I was adopted at three months, so um, the reason for my adoption was because my birth mother was addicted to crack heroin, and she wasn't the best to the rest of the family, so um, I was immediately taken from the hospital at birth, and put up basically for adoption. It was another three months. And up until 18, I stayed with my first mom. But due to complications of like other family members that I had, um, I just decided to move out right at 18. I'm continuing school um, throughout this whole process. So I'm doing my GED, almost done with my GED, and will be done in two weeks. And um, I plan to go into nursing or EMT. If you have to give an advice for another young boy that is just like you, that went through so many hardships in life, what do you tell them? What do you suggest that to what? To never give up, continue fighting? Definitely to like keep like the negativity away. It was just some people I, I didn't want to let go of that I know was bad for me, but it was hard to let go of them. And I guess that would be my advice is just to just push all the negative stuff out of your life, even if it's difficult. Because sometimes it's the people that are the most closest to you that's kind of holding you down. And you just kind of need that little push, focus on yourself and like getting yourself back together or how you want yourself. Stay tuned for my boy here, yeah. so prom, okay people? He's gonna accomplish everything that he wants. Okay? Thank you, Dustin Cito!